Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for October 30th through November 5th. Now this may or may not resonate because it's for hundreds and thousands of people, and there's no way that it will resonate with every single person that watches this. It may Bits and pieces may resonate with you and not the other part, so if it does, great. My uh, readings are for sun sign and rising sign only. Um, and this is for the sign of Taurus. And I will zoom this in when I am done. Okay, I'm just going to zoom this in real quick. Get it right, one or the other. There we go. Alright, so the basis of your reading is the Ten of Swords. And we do have the Nine of Wands and the Death card right beside it. It looks like something is ending, okay? There's some kind of closure. Some door is being closed. It may have happened the week prior or it may be happening this week, but it looks like something is is ending, okay? So that something more beautiful and exciting can start, okay? I see that there's going to be some heartache of some sort, <coughs> and there may be some forgiveness needed with these two cards, okay? So I'm not sure what this is, but I think that many of you will be going through a period of trying to forgive somebody because it looks like there's some kind of lie that could come out or deceit that's going on, okay? And it certainly could come out with the Tower card. If it hasn't happened already, I think that something is going to break down um, and it's it's really going to cause some hurt. Something's going to happen that's going to cause some some, um, and if it's not her, it's going to be a shock. Okay. It's just going to be a shock. Like, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I can't believe this just happened. It could be something on the lines of where it really hurts. You know, it all depends because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. I think that, um, it has to do with something completely ending. I mean, we have the death card next to the nine of swords. I mean, the nine of wands and the 10 of swords, Okay, and we have the truth coming out. Okay, so this whatever something is about to happen that is meant to happen. Okay, some truth, if it hasn't happened already, is going to come out. There is no doubt about it. Okay, with this is, I mean, okay, so some truth is going to come out and it's probably going to hurt. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, and the thing is, is that the, the way to get through it is with forgiveness. Okay, because we have some forgiveness here. All right. Um, something might come, and when it does happen, it's going to be harsh. I know that I'm kind of repeating myself, but I see a lot of harsh. Something is going to happen that is, could either be a very big shock or come across very, um, harshly. Okay. But the thing is, is that it's kind of like you've been expected. Okay. It's like this was going to happen and we were just waiting for the right time for it to happen. It's like we've just been blocking it out, pretending that, you know, it's not going to happen, but the fact of the matter is, it is going to happen. I apologize for that. I typically um, put it on mute when I forgot. <laughs> okay. So, and there's something new ahead of you. Something, okay, this is all meant to happen, okay? It looks like there's something new and exciting ahead of you. So rest assured that with any any um, shock that comes in this week, it leads to something new and exciting. And it me leads to like a new growth, a rebirth, okay? That's what it leads to. So don't, don't fret. 
and it has something to do, or it's going to lead you towards something from your past, okay? So, and it feels like this is something you've been expecting, okay? Hold on, I'm just going to get the next pull. I was going to take that phone off the hook, but it's taking forever. Flipper. So many of you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. Um, it looks like there's going to be a, some sadness, or there has been. There's been some depression for sure. There's been some depression, or there could be this week. All right, that something's gonna something's gonna pop up out of the blue with the tower card. Okay, that could cause some hurt, and it's an absolute ending of a situation <clears throat> that must end. Okay, something needs to end, but it brings in this new fertility. All right, it brings in this new growth. So just let it happen. Go with it, even if it hurts. Okay, it's it was. It was, it's time for you to walk away from it anyway. This, this is unnecessary. Like it's an unnecessary battle that you don't need to be in. That you've probably, many of you have been pretending that this is okay or this is just going to go away. Or I'm going to wake up and in a couple days it's going to be fine. You know, so, you know, it just looks like this, this time of ignoring a situation is over because it's going to come to fruition. If it hasn't already, it's going to come to fruition this week. Some truth is going to come out that might hurt, okay? But it might bring you closer to love in some way. I think it's going to. I think it's going to bring you closer to love, away from con conflict and closer to love, okay? So that it's like a silver lining, all right, and it's gonna, it's gonna, it is, it's exactly what you need. Yep, and there you are. So it's going to bring you in um, harmony. All right, it's things are happening the way they are supposed to. There's a purpose for everything. Um, it looks like there's some kind of. Uh, it almost looks like like there's a reward. There's a silver. There is a silver lining, for all you've been through. Okay, it looks like things are finally going to change in your favor. Whatever this is that is breaking down, that is going away. Something's going away. It is. Whatever is breaking down. Whatever is ending. The Ten of Swords is the basis of your reading. Something is seriously ending, and whatever it is, whatever is going away, leads you towards something much better it's where think you finally hit the nail on the head you know what i mean you finally are going in the right direction okay you're finally making progress towards your soul purpose you know that's what i'm trying to say it's like you're 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 um leaving strife behind you're leaving a disappointment behind you're leaving something behind that no longer serves you but it brings you towards love and it brings you to what you ultimately hope for okay it does it brings you closer to what you're passionate about closer to your um passion closer to your passion it does you know, and I think when this first happens, whatever it is, if it hasn't happened already, it's going to cause a bit of amount of stress, of worry, of depression. But I think that you have the confidence to get through it. I see a lot of confidence here, a lot of it. So it will be a minimal period of depression, of sadness, but then it will be like a, it will be like a quick turnaround because your self-confidence will jump back into play, you know what I mean? And, um... It brings you closer to love. It does. Um, it does. It causes a major change in your life. You're about to go through a major change. And, and it has to do with some hurt. Okay, some hurt is happening or is going to happen. Something is going to break down. 
that causes a shock or hurt. And you are going to just, at first, you're going to be hurt, you're going to be depressed, you're going to be sad, but then it's going to be a complete turnaround. It's going to be like, all right, this all happened for a reason. It's time. It's time for me to follow my passion. So this breakdown, like I said, it's a silver lining. It's meant to happen. It could come in harshly. It is. And it's like you've been expecting it. I seriously think that many of you have been expecting it. So for some of you, you could, um, um, there could be somebody from the past coming into your life, okay? And it doesn't have to be a lover, all right? It could be. But I think that it's somebody you haven't seen in a while, all right? But it's something, we do have this illusion here, these dreams. So maybe if you guys have been thinking about somebody from the past, you know, it could come to fruition. I see that some doors are closing. There's no doubt about it. One door especially is closing for you and it's only to open a better door with that you where you can be passionate about who you are. All right. And and it could involve new love with stability and security. Seriously, it could. We have all the signs here now, so it could be any sign. I'm gonna I'm shuffling the daily angel guidance cards, but I think this week is about something is ending definitely with the Ten of Swords being the basis your re of your reading and death right next to it. It's an ending that has to happen to bring you closer to your life purpose. And you must let it go. And it starts with forgiveness. So forgiving yourself, forgiving the other person, whatever it is, we have forgiveness here. And this grief is brought in to help you learn that lesson of forgiveness. Grief is, is, is coming in for a little bit. Okay? But it's not going to last because you have the self-confidence and you have... You have what it takes to follow your passion, and you're going to do that right away. It's like you're just going to walk away from it and say, you know what? I'm not going to wallow in this. For a minute, you might, but I'm just going to move forward and let the door cl close. One of these. That's what's happening. You are. You're going to let the door close. Look at that. Imagine that. I love these people. My souls. My souls up above. <sighs> They help me every day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I tell them thank you too. Whew. And there they are. And the other one is from the Archangel Michael deck. And I'm just going to zoom it in a little bit. Sorry about the fast moment there. The first card is Release and Surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that we've that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. Release and surrender. Just let it go. <clears throat> if something comes in this week, and if you're watching this before the week, wait till the week happens. And see what happens, okay? Because the week hasn't happened yet. Release and surrender. Just let it go. Let it go. It's going to hurt, whatever it is. But you have the power within you to re forgive and move on. All right? Because I see forgiveness is here. From Archangel Michael, spend more time outdoors my prayer thank you for motivating <laughs> thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature spend more time outdoors there's a reason for that there's a reason for that card you need to go outdoors Whatever the reason is, you need to spend more time outdoors. Maybe you just need the sunlight. Maybe you just need the fresh air. Maybe you just need alone time. Maybe you need to meet somebody out there. There's a reason for that card. Get outside. 
So Taurus, this is what I have for your week of October 30th through November 5th. I will talk to you next week.